we are going to discuss about the mass extinction and biodiversity loss and in which we will be discussing the big five mass extinction events. The big five or big three is a debate whether we must talk about only the three which are more severe or the five which are intermediate and uh, severe. So there is some debate about whether there were five or three mass extinction and based on the, uh, area, uh, the time that they were having or the number of species, there are the two which are excluded from them or the uh, there were some key points. Uh, we will be discussing about the key points, about three of the five events first, and we will be discussing the two events in detail. So the first is the end Ordovician mass extinction, and it was occurring 455, uh, 445 million years ago. There was substantial turnover occurred among the marine faunas. Marine uh, biodiversity was increased, especially in the animals. There were some uh, reef building animals, brachiopores and echinoderms and osteocote trilobites. All of these species died out or most of them were affected during this mass extinction event. During the end Ordovician mass extinction, there were uh, what were the some causes of it? There was major climate changes and these major climate changes resulted into the extinction event. There were some tropical type reef as we know that the, there was uh, the formation of, of uh, uh, the continents was happening. The continents were not as they are today and the north northern continents were breaking apart from the Pangaea and so were the southern uh, continents as well, just like Africa and Antarctica. So at that time, what happened that the tropical type reef and their rich faunas lived around the shore of North America that they uh, then lay around the equator, which uh, the North America was almost on the equator and its shores were filled with the rich faunas it contains a lot of or uh, it contained a lot of organisms especially the animals and the, at that time the southern glaciation and lowering of the sea levels happened the southern glaciation meant that the uh, on the southern pole there were a lot of ice uh, was accumulating and due to that the globally uh, lowering of sea level happened and due to which there, the, uh, there was some extremely uh, massive changes in the climate. And then comes the late Devonian mass extinction. In the late, uh, it is the succession of, of extinction pulses between 380 and 360 million years. So, during this time period, the cephalopods were decimated. The cephalopods and uh, these were the, as we know, Sphalopoda is a phylum, uh, just like the octopi. And these sort of organisms were prevailing in the uh, oceanic floors. But due to this uh, uh, ma major mass extinction, these were specially uh, decimated. That means they were wiped out. And what was the cause? Uh, a cause, a major cooling phase associated with anoxia or an inter an extra ter terrestrial impact so what was happening that there was some glaciation or some cooling phase on the earth or some say that there was some an extra uh, terrestrial impact was also happening which led to this extinction and then there comes the end triassic mass extinction the fourth of the big five mass extinction a massive mass, uh, a marine mass extinction event at or close to the Triassic Jurassic boundary 200 million years ago. And what happened that there was anoxia again, uh, the lack of oxygen and global warming due to the volcanic eruption. The Atlantic Ocean was uh, expanding and due to which it, it had some volcanic activity in the depths and that resulted due to the increased global warming uh, due to the accumulation of carbon dioxide and that led to climate change and extinction. 
Now, the rest of mass extinction, the third and fifth of the big five, these are most important and more, most recent, and these are the most studied as well. The Permo Triassic is important because it was the one of the largest, and Cretaceous and Tertiary, which is called KT, it is, was also important. And it has most evidence available, that's why it is more studied. The Permo Triassic event, the end Permian or Permo Triassic extinction was the most devastating of all the time, and it is uh, less understood than the second one, which is uh, KT event. The peak of eruption uh, by the uh, what was the cause of this extinction, the Permo Triassic uh, extinction? was that there was some uh, peak eruptions of the Siberian traps. So, the Siberian uh, traps were the, uh, where the organic uh, molecules or the organic, organ uh, the organic molecules were uh, in the form of coal. They were, they were reserves of coal and due to the volcanic eruption, they were uh, coming, uh, they were burning and they came out in the environment, increasing the uh, carbon dioxide concentration and also warming helped increase in the uh, uh, in the methane global methane production and matching precisely the date of the Permo Triassic event uh, Permo Triassic boundary and there were some environmental changing changes which led to the this extinction event. The studies of stable isotopes such as oxygen carbon in those rock selections revealed a common story of environmental turmoil. So, in turn, there was some massive climate change which led to this event. And here you can see a picture in which you can see how does this global warming increased and how does the Earth's temperature increase and it led to the biodiversity loss. There was first global warming which led to the terrestrial ex extinction. There was reduced ocean circulation and stratification and marine anoxia, that means the loss of oxygen from the sea, there was marine extinction as well. And if we go here, the global warming also led melting of the shallow gas hydrates, which led to the increase in the global methane production and carbon dioxide production. And it led to the rise in the atmospheric carbon dioxide, which led to the runway greenhouse scenario. That means the carbon dioxide and methane were so large in quantity that the global warming scenario was increasing due to its own feedback um, uh, loss of feedback mechanism. The more the methane is being produced, the more it is becoming warmer, the globe is becoming warmer and more methane is produced. And that led to the massive biodiversity loss, which we uh, call as the PT loss. The peak of eruption by the Siberian traps was dated at 251 million years ago, matching precisely the date of PT boundary and it also led to the environmental changes.